sorry to tell you this, but your son is in a coma. This is a result of damage to the thalamus, a small section of the brain between the midbrain and the cerebral cortex. The thalamus receives and passes on motor and sensory information, which controls your body's ability to move, sleep, and be alert. Because of your son's damage to this part of his brain, everything's still working, just at a very slow rate. Can't lose weight? <laughs> Don't know why? Well, we've got the answer for you. The part of your brain that controls things like weight gain and weight loss is called the, uh, hypothalamus. In addition to controlling weight, the hypothalamus also controls things like sleep, thirst, mood, sex drive, and body temperature. Fun fact, in the average human brain, the hypothalamus is around the size of an almond. Pretty nutty, huh? Well, anyway, since a major function of the hypothalamus is to control hunger, that translates to your ability to lose weight. Anyway, buy this. Hey kids, it's Mr. Squiggle Muffins. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about a very special part of the brain, the hippocampus. The name translates to seahorse in Greek. Why? Because of this! This isn't the only special thing about this area, however. Without it, we wouldn't be able to form long-term memories. The hippocampus also allows us to remember and walk to familiar places. This is called spatial navigation. <laughs> As everyone knows, most of our terms today have Latin roots. Can anybody tell me what the Latin root for cerebellum is? It means... little brain. Very good. Now, while it is called the little brain, the cerebellum actually takes up about 10% of the brain's mass, as well as about half the neurons. Why? The cerebellum is given sensory information from multiple other parts of the brain, including the sensory systems, spinal cord, and more. Additionally, the cerebellum is in charge of regulating movements that you perform voluntarily and for learning motor skills. Now, on to Shakespeare. Difficult challenge ever. The brain. Can't do it, then leave! This show is called Cook It or Book It for a reason. The cerebrum is going to be red to start, because you need to be all ready to make this cake. Get a lot of that frosting, because the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It is responsible for abilities considered higher functions of the human brain, such as imagining reasoning, judging, and planning. You can almost think of it as the headquarters for the higher functions of the human mind. Now, some of the other ingredients that you're going to- Tell me what you know! I have to find out about the world's past and the unnaturally dramatic- Carl Steinbeck was an incredible human being. He- what? Oh yeah, Broca and Wernicke were cool too. A Broca's area controls the muscular movements involved in expressing a language, while a Wernicke's area regulates the language of reception and helps us to receive and comprehend a language. 
Furthermore, during the Spanish Inquisition in 14th century, Sir, we have a situation. Our rival company is attempting to buy us out. So, I propose that we make a bridge between our companies, just like the Corpus Colossum does in our brain. What on earth are you talking about? As I said, the Corpus Colossum is a bridge between the two different sides of the brain. It is also a carrier of information sent between them. Now let's get down to business. Are you always falling asleep in class? Do you have trouble focusing on the board? Well, maybe you should be paying attention in psychology, because your brain is responsible for that. Your midbrain is responsible for your ability to see and hear. It also controls things like motor skills, body temperature, patterns of falling asleep, and levels of alertness. If you want to pay more attention in psychology class, as you should, then sleep at home not at school, and regulate your body's sleeping patterns. Sir, I've been thinking it over, and I truly believe that our companies need to join together, just like the pawns connects the upper and lower structures of the brain. What? As I was saying, the pawns receives and passes messages specifically between the cerebral cortex and the cerebrum. It also deals with sleep ability, your ability to swallow, respiration, and control of your bladder, among other things. Now, with our two companies combined, I truly... Oh no! Someone help me! I have been shot through my spinal cord. In case you didn't know, the spinal cord is a long, tube-like part of the body, which extends from the bottom of the brainstem to near the end of the brainstem. It's full of nerves, which allows information to be shared throughout and between the body and the brain. Now, since mine has been severed, I will lose all ability to feel below where I was shot. Oh no, help me, I've been hurt so badly. Uh, I need to get this sorted out, or should I say, corded out. Real soon. I must say, the moment I saw you, my medulla sped my heart rate up about a million. It, you don't know what a medulla is? Oh, uh, well, it's the special little part of your brain right above the spinal cord that controls your heart rate, blood pressure, and ability to breathe. So, like... It must have been love at first sight because my heart rate sped up when I saw you and like my medulla made that ha happen. Are you understanding me? Hello everybody and welcome back to Pin It to Win It. Contestant number one, you have one question left. If you answer it correctly, you will win one million dollars! Are you ready? Well, of course I am, Daryl. Awesome! Now throw that door! Oh man, contestant number one just pinned the reticular activating system. Now can he tell me what it is? Oh man, I wonder what it could be. Is the function of the reticular activating system to receive sensory information from different parts of the brain and then send them to the cerebral cortex, then also to maintain control over the body's transitions between deep sleep, alertness, and wakefulness? That is correct! Congratulations! You just won one million dollars! How will you celebrate? By throwing a party, of course, with cake. Everybody gets cake. <laughs>